Aside from protesting, many people are speaking out and expressing themselves through art in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. RTV 6's Stephanie Wade was downtown today talking with local artists as they shared their message. <laughs> Walking up and down this avenue, starting with just boards, you saw more of the heartache, more of the pain that this country has been through. But as we, as we fill it with art, you start to see the love, the energy, the life that we hope to bring back. You can't get far walking along downtown's popular Massachusetts Avenue without seeing some painting, some mural, some words supporting Black Lives Matter. Whether it's music, words, painting, I choose to use every platform I can to make a difference. Fueled by a number of emotions, Gentry Parker and Elijah Norwood designed and are painting this mural in front of the Grand Union tattoo in honor of George Floyd, both remembering his death and exalting his name. To be 100% honest, anger, um, I was hurt. And then as an artist, you kind of ask yourself what message you want to put out. A new beginning, a new era, a new age. I think we've been focused on the old way of living for far too long. A lot of those ideals and those beliefs, they no longer apply to today's world. An interactive piece, they're painting the change they hope to see in the world with a bright yellow sunflower above a silhouette where people can stand in their shoes for even a moment, take a picture and take the pledge to end racism and police brutality. I want for our skin to not be weaponized, right? Just because of the pigment and the melanin in our skin. Uh, I want to not be feared just because of who I am. Sadly, my grandparents had to protest. My mother had to protest. And here I am today. And uh, I hope to paint a world or create a world in which my children won't have to do the same. It's beautiful. It's a sign of peace. It's something that uh, this community badly needs. No justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. The movement here in Indianapolis and across the country giving these artists hope. We're happy to be black. We just are. And, uh, you know, for once, at least in my life, I got a snapshot of, you know, I don't have to feel like uh, anyone's looking at me a certain way because of the color of my skin, right? Judging me in a negative way. So uh, when the protest came through, I mean, it was everything. It was empowering. We walked through downtown and saw it all. And I think that was important because it made it real. And you saw places destroyed that you'd been in before. Uh, but now what you're seeing is those very same business owners are saying, that's okay, what we're gonna do is work for peace. We're not gonna work for anything else besides that. A community coming together, knowing art won't solve everything, but it's a start. As an individual, you are already powerful beyond measure, but united, there's nothing we can't accomplish. Stephanie Wade, RTV6.